Robin Hood and the Monk, edited by Andrew Lang, read for LibriVox.org, by Linda Marie Nielsen, Vancouver, B.C. In summer when the shaws be shane, and leaves be large and long, hit is full murky in fairy forest to hear the fowey's song to see the deer draw to the dale and leave the hills he and shadow him in the leaves green vendure the green wood tree hit befell on whitsuntide early in a may morning the sun ve fair can shine and the bride's merry can sing this is a merry morning said little john be him that died on tree a more merry man than i am one leaves not in christiane pluck thee thy heart my dear master little john can say and think it is a full fair time in a morning of may see on thing grieves me said robin and does my heart much woo that i may not so solemn day to mass no martin's goo it is a fortnight and more said he since i may save your sea to-day will i to nottingham said robin with the might of mild mary then spake mock the miler's son er more well kim betide take e thee wait zymon well wapened be their side such on will thyself slon that i dare not abide off all my merry men said robin be my faith i will non have but little john shall bear my bow till that me list to draw thou shall be thin own said little john master and i will bear mine and we will shit a penny said little john under the green hold line i will not shit a penny said robin hood in faith little john with thee but e'er for on as thou shits said robin in faith i hold the three thus shet they forth those zamen too both at bus and brom till little john one of his master viz two hosts and shone a fairly strife fell them between as they went by the way little john said he had won the shillings and robin hood said shortly nay with that robin hood lied little john and smote him with his hand little john wax wath therewith and pulled out his bright blonde were thou not my master said little john though ye shouldn't by hit full score get the man where thou wilt robin for thou gets me no more then robin goes to nottingham himself mourning alone and little john to mary sherwood the paths he know alone when robin came to nottingham certainly without lane he prayed to god and mild mary to bring him out say again he goes into saint mary church and kneeled down before the road all that or were the church within behold 
will robin hood beside him stood a great hated monk i pray to god will he be full son he know good robin as son as he him see out at the dur he ran full son and non al the zadis of nottingham he made to be spared every one rise up said he thou proud sheriff busk the and make the bow i had spied the king's felon forsooth he is in the town i han spied the false felon as he stuns at his mass hit is longer of thee said the monk and ere he fro thee pass this traitor name is robin hood under the green wood lind he robber me onks of sea pound it shall never out of my mind up then rose this proud sheriff and sad toward him sair many was the modern son to the kirk with him can fare in at the durs the holy thrust with stays full good econ alas alas said robin hood now must i little john but robin took out a two hot scored that hang it down be his knee there as the sheriff and his men stood thickest the word would he there's throw at him he ran then for soft as i yow say and wondered many a modern son and he he slew that day his swords upon the sheriff head certainly he brake in two the smith that the maid said robin i pray god work him woo for now i am weaponless said robin alas again my willy but if i may flee these traitors fro i would they will me kill robin's men to the church ran throughout helm acred on some fell in swaying as they were did and lay still as any stone none of them were in her main but only little john let be your duel said little john for his luff that died on tree see that should be dusty men it is great shame to see or maister has been hard bestowed and set scrappy away pluck up your heroes and leave this morn and hearken what i shall say he has send our lady many a day and set will surely therefore i trust in her specially not wrecked death shall he die therefore be glad said little john and let this mooring be and i shall be the monkey's guild with that might of mild mary and i met him said little john we will go but we too lo that ze kept well our trist tree under the levees small and spare none of this venison that goes in thy vale forth thy went these zemen too little john and most confer and look it on most enemies house the highway lay 
fully near little john strode at a window in the morning and looked forth at a stage he was war where the monk came riding and with him a little page be my faith said little john to mush i can't tell tingus good i see where the monk comes riding i know him be his wide hood they went into the way these zamen both as courtiers men and hold they spurred thy guinness at thy monk as they had been his friend for whence come ye said little john tell vastingus i saw pray off a false outlay called robin hood was taken yesterday he robbed me and my fellows both of mark in certain if that false orlay be taken forsooth we would be fain so did he me said the monk of a sea pound and more i laid first hand him upon see maid thank me therefore i pray god thank you said little john and we will when we may we will go with you with your leave and bring yon on your way for robin hood has many a wild fellow i tell you in certain if they wis ye rode this way in faith ze should be slain as they went talkin be the way the monk and little john john took the monk's horse to the head for sound and annoy john took the monk's horse to the head for sooth as i yon say so did munch the little page for he should not stir away be the gullet of the hoad john pulled the monk down john was nothing of him aghast he let him fall on his crown little john was sore aggrieved and drew out his sword in he the monk saw he should be dead loud mercy can he cry he was my master said little john that thou hast browed in bail shall thou ne'er come at our king for to tell him tale john smote of the musk's head no longer wold he dwell so did mosh the little page for feared lest he would tell there the buried him both in neither moss nor lean and little john and munch a fear bear the letters to our king he kneeled down upon his knee god knows zane my ledge lord jesus you say and see god you say my leg king to speak john was full body he gave him the letters in his on the king did hit unfold the king read the letters anon and said so met i thee there was neither woman in maryland i longed so sore to see where is the monk that thee should ha browns or king gan say be my troth said little john he died after the way the king gave mush and little john x pounds in sir ten and made them zemen of the crown 
and bade them go again he gave john the seal in hand the sheriff for to bear to bring robin him to and no man do him dare john took his leave at cure king the sooth as i yow say the next way to nottingham to take his zed the way when john came to nottingham the zadis were spared ye con john called up the porter he answered some anon what is the cause said little john thou sparest the zate so fast because of robin hood said the porter in deep prison is cast john and mosh and willie skaythook forsooth i yow say there slew cure men upon our walls and sartin then early day little john spared after the sheriff and some he hen fond he opinioned the chiris priv sell and gaff hen in his hond when the sheriff saw the king's seal he did of his hoed anon where is the monk that bear the letters he said to little john he is so far of him said little john forsooth as i you see he has made him about of westminster a lord of that abbey the sheriff made john good cheer and gave him wine of the best at niz they went to her bed and every man to his rest when the sheriff was on step drunken of wine and ale little john and moosh for sooth took the way von the dale little john called the jailer and bade him rise anon he sent robin hood his broken person and out of hit was gone the porter rose anon certain and saw as he heard john call little john was ready with a sword and bear him to the wall now i will be porter said little john and take the keys in hond he took the way to robin hood and some him vagabond he gave him a good sword in his hand his head with four to keep and there as the wall was lowest anon down can they leap be that the cock began to crow the day began to spring the sheriff found the jailer dead the common bell made he ring he made a cry throughout the town where dare he be soman or knave the cow bring him robin hood he were some he should have for i dare near said the sheriff come before our king for if i do i would be certain for sooth he will me henge the sheriff made to seek nottingham both he street and stay and robin was in merry sherwood as liz as left on lind then be state good lil john to robin hood can he say i hae done the good turn for an ill quit me when thou may i had done the good turn said little john forsooth as i you say i hot browse the vindergren wood lin farewell and hot good day nay be my troth said robin hood 
so shall it never be i make the master said robin hood of all my men and me nay be my troth said little john so shall it ne'er be but let me be a fellow said little john not odor kept i'll be thus john gate robin hood out of prison certain without lane when his men saw him whole and sound for sue they were full fain they filled in wain and made him glad vander the levy smiled and zeet passed of venton's son that good was with ale then word came to our king how robin hood was gone and how the sheriff of nottingham does never look him gone then bestake our comely king in an anger he little john has beguiled the sheriff in faith so has he me little john has beguiled the spot and that full well i see or ellis the sheriff of nottingham he hungat should he be i made him zemin of the crown and gaff him fee with my hand i gaff him griff said our king throughout our merry england i gaff him grief then said our king i say so not i thee for sooth such a zeman as he is on in all england at not there he is true to his master said our king i say he sweat st john he loves better robin hood than he does verse john robin hood is e'er bond to him both in street and stall speak no more of this matter said our king but john has beguiled us all thus ends the talking of the monk and robin hood e was god that e'er a crowned king bringing us all to his bliss end of poem this recording is in the public domain robin hood and the potter Edited by Andrew Lang. Read for LibriVox.org by Linda Marie Nielsen, Vancouver, B.C. In summer, when the leaves spring, the blossoms on every bough, so merry do the birdies sing, yin woodies merry now. Hearkens, God, yemen, comely, curtsy, and God on of the best that never bar bow his name was robin hood robin hood was yemen's name that was boy courtesy and free for the loft of our lady all women worship he but as the good yemen stood on a day among his merry many he was war of a proud potter Came driving o'er the lee yonder come a proud potter said robin that long had handy this way he was never so courtesy a man on penny of parge to pay ye met him bought at wetbrig said little john and therefore ye fell mot the he such three strokes he may gaff yet they cliff by my saddies ye lay forty shillings said little john to pay hit these same day there ye not a man among us all a wed shall make him lay here ye's forty shillings said robin 
more and throw darcy that ye shall make that proud potter a wed to me shall he lay there mes morty they laid they took bought a yamen to keep robin before the potter he braid and bade him son stell hands upon his horse he laid and bad the potter stood fall stell the potter shortly to him said fellow what is thy will ah these their year and more potter he said thou hast handy these way yet were to never so courteous a man one penny of podge to pay what's thee thy name said the potter for page thou ask of me robin hood's ye my name i wed shall throw left me well well ye non left said the potter nor povage well ye non pay away they hon from my horse ye well the ten ills be my fay the potter to his cart he went he was not to seek a god to handle staff throw he went before robin he leapt robin hout with a sword bent a broker and his hon thereto the potter to robin he went and said follow let me horse go together they went these two yemen he was a good say to see there of low robin his men there they stood under a tree little john to his fellows said ye potter well staffly stond the potter with an acrid stroke smalt the booklier out of his hand and our robin met get him again his buckler at his fet the potter in the neck him tote to the ground son he yed that saw robin his men as they stood under a bough let us help our master said little john yonder potter as well him slow these yemen went with a bride to their master they came little john to his master said he hath the wager won shall ye half your forty shillings said little john or ye master shall half mine yef they were a hundred said robin ye feth they ben all thine het ees fall lel courtesy said the potter as ye half hard wise men say yef a poor yeman come drowning o'er the way to let him of his gurney be met troweth thou says sot says robin thou says god imitri and thou draft forth every day thou shalt never be let for me ye well pray thee god potter a fellowship well thou half give me thy clothing and thou shalt have mine ye well go to nottingham ye grant thereto said the potter thou shalt find me a fellow god but throw can sell my pots well come ain as throw yold nay be my trout said robin and then ye best grow me hide yef ye bring any pots ain and envy wef well and cheap then spake little john and all his fellows hind master be well war of the sheriff of nottingham for he is lay tell how friend he'd war how t said robin fellows let me alone thorow the help of our lady to nottingham will ye gone robin went to nottingham the pots for to sell the potter abode with robin's men 
there he fared not idle though robin droft on his way so merry over the land hear more and after ye to say the best ye behind when robin came to nottingham the sort of ye sold say he set up his horse anon and gaff him hotties and hay in the meads of the town there he showed his war potties potties he gan cry full son half's hansel for the mar for even against the sheffrey gate showed he's he shafar wives and widows about him dow and shep fast of his ware yet potty's great cheap cried robin a lof ye fell these to stond and all that saw him sell said he had no potter long the potties that were worth pens fetef he sold them for pens three peverly said man and wife you wander potter shall never thee those robins sold fall fast tell he had potties bought fair fee on he him toke on his car and sent him to the scraffy's wifey thereof she was full of fain gramercy sir then said she when ye come to this contra ain ye shall bay of the potties so bought ye thee ye shall half of the best said robin and swore to be trinity full courteously she gain him call come dane with the scurf and me god a marcy said robin your bedding shall be done a maiden ye the potties gan bear robin and the shreff wife followed anon when robin into the hall came the sheriff son he met the potter cowed of courtesy and saw the sheriff be great looketh what this potter hey greft yow and me fayeth potties small and great he is welcome said the sheriff let's all was and go to meet as they sat at her meth with a nobel share two of the shreff's men gain speak of a great wager was made the other day off a scolding was god and fain off forty shillings the sought to say who scold this wager when still then sat these proud po those then thout he as ye am a true christian man these scolding will ye see when they had fared of the best with bread and ale and wine to the bodies they made them pressed with boughs and bottles full fine the shreff's men shot full fast as archers that were good there came no ne'er the mark be half a god arches bow still then stood the proud potter though then said he and ye had a bow be the rod on shot should yow see thou shall have a bow said the shreff the best that thou well she's of thee thou semest a stalwart and a strong a say shall throw be the sheriff commanded a yemen that stood em by a fair bows to wend the best bow that the yemen brought robin set on a string now shall ye wet and thou be good and paul help up to their ne'er so god me help said the proud potter this ye bought riggis we gare to a kelker robin went 
a god bolt hour thee he took so nay on to the mark he went he failed not a foot all they shot about the ijin the scarif's men and he off the mark he'd well not fail he cleft the preak on three the serif's men vowed great shame the potter the mastery won the sheriff low and made god game and said potter throw art a man thou art worthy to bear a bow yin what plas that throw gang ye merry cart ye half a bow force not he said and that a god ye merry cart is the bow that i had of robin hood knowest thou robin hood said the sheriff potter ye pray the tell thou me a hundred torn ye half shot with him under his turtle tree ye have lever nar a hundred pawn said the sheriff and swore be the trinity ye have lever nar a hundred pawn he said that the falls o'er tal stood by me and ye will do after me red said the potter and boldly go with me and to morrow or we had bred robin hood well we see ye well quit thee cod the sheriff and swear be god of meth sure tang they left and home they went her supper was ready dan thee upon the morrow whom het was day he bossed him forth to read the potter his cart forth gan ray and would not be left behind he took left of the sheriff's wife and thanked her of all thing dam for may loth and ye well thy swear ye gef yow her a gold ring gramercy said the wife sir god eld be that the sheriff's heart was never so lithe the fair forest to see and when he came into the forest yonder the leaf's green birdies there sang on boughs pressed he was great joy to seen her hest us mercy to be said robin for a man that had how to spend be may horn we shall wait yef robin hood be ne'er hand robin set his horn to his mouth and blow a blast that was full god that heard his men that there stowed for dawn ye then would i hear my master said leighton john they ran as they were wood when they to their master came little john would not spar master how half you far ye nottingham how half you sold your war ye be my truth little john loak thou take no car ye half brought the scarf of nottingham for all hower shafar he's follow welcome said little john these tidings ye's for god the sheriff had lever nar a hundred pawn he had never seen robin hood had i west that beforn at nottingham when we were though scold not come ye for forest of all these thousand air that wot ye well said robin ye thank god that ye be her therefore shall ye left your horse with haws and all your hother gear that fend i goodies for bone cod the sheriff so to lease may god heather ye cam on horse fall he and home shall ye go on foot and great well that wayeth at home the woman's ye fall god 
ye shall her send a wet palfrey her hit hamlet as the wind ner for the loft of your wife of morrow sorrow scold ye saying they parted robin hood and the sheriff to nottingham he took the way his wife frer welcomed him home and to him gain she say sir how half you fare in green forest half you brown robin home damn the dale spade him both body and bon ye half had a full great scorn of all the god that ye have laid to greenwood he hate take it from me all bought this feller palfrey that he hay send to thee with that she took up a loud laughing and swore to him that dade on tree now half you paid for all the potties that robin gave to me now ye be corn home to nottingham ye shall half god know now speak we of robin hood and of the potter on the green bough potter what was the pottery's worth to nottingham that ye led with me they were worth two nobblies said he so mot ye triffy or the so cowardly had for them and ye had there be thou shalt have ten pound said robin of money fur and free and ye never won thou comest to greenwood welcome potter to me these party robin the sheriff and the potter underneath the greenwood tree god half mercy on robin hood's soul and saff all good ye merny End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. Robin Hood and the Butcher, edited by Andrew Lang, read for LibriVox.org by Annie Rue on October twenty third, two thousand seventeen. Robin Hood and the Butcher. Come all you brave gallants and listen a while with a hay down down and a down that are in the bowers within for of robin hood that archer good a song i intend for to sing upon a time it chanced so bold robin in forest did spy a jolly butcher with a bonny fine mare with his flesh to the market did hie good morrow good fellow said jolly robin what food hast thou tell unto me thy trade to me tell and where thou dost dwell for i like well thy company the butcher he answered jolly robin no matter where i dwell for a butcher i am and to nottingham i am going my flesh to sell what's the price of thy flesh said jolly robin come tell it soon unto me and the price of thy mare be she never so dear for a butcher i fain would be the price of my flesh the butcher replied i soon will tell unto thee with my bonny mare and they are not too dear for mark thou must give unto me for mark i will give thee saith jolly robin for mark it shall be thy fee the money come count and let me mount for a butcher i fain would be now robin he is to nottingham gone his butcher's trade to begin with good intent to the sheriff he went and there he took up his inn when other butchers did open their meat bold robin he then began but how for to sell he knew not well for a butcher he was but young when other butchers no meat could sell robin got both gold and fee for he sold more meat for one penny than others could do for three but when he sold his meat so fast no butcher by him could thrive for he sold more meat for one penny than others could do for five which made the butchers of nottingham to study as they did stand saying surely he is some prodigal that hath sold his father's land the butcher stepped to jolly robin acquainted with him for to be come brother one said we be all of one trade come will you go dine with me 
accursed of his heart said jolly robin that a butcher doth deny i will go with you my brethren true as fast as i can hie but when to the sheriff's house they came to dinner they hide apace as robin hood he the man must be before him all to say grace pray god bless us all said jolly robin and our meat within this place a cup of sack so good will nourish our blood and so do i end my grace come fill us more wine said jolly robin let us be merry while we do stay for wine and good cheer be it never so dear i vow the reckoning will pay come brothers be merry said jolly robin let us drink and never give o'er for the shot i will pay ere i go my way if it cost me five pounds and more this is a mad blade the butchers then said says the sheriff he is some prodigal that some land hath sold for silver and gold and now he doth mean to spend all hast thou any horn beasts the sheriff replied good fellow to sell unto me yes that i have good master sheriff i have hundreds two or three and a hundred acre of good free land if you please it to see and i'll make you as good assurance of it as ever my father made me the sheriff he saddled his good palfrey and with three hundred pound in gold away he went with bold robin hood his horned beasts to behold away then the sheriff and robin did ride to the forest of mary sherwood then the sheriff did say god bless us this day from a man they call robin hood but when a little farther they came bold robin he chanced to spy a hundred head of good red deer come tripping the sheriff full nigh how like you my horned beast good master sheriff they be fat and fair for to see i tell thee good fellow i would i were gone for i like not thy company then robin set his horn to his mouth and blew but blast three then quickly anon there came little john and all his company what is your will master then said little john good master come tell unto me i have brought hither the sheriff of nottingham this day to dine with thee he is welcome to me then said little john i hope he will honestly pay i know he has gold if it be but well told will serve us to drink a whole day then robin took his mantle from his back and laid it upon the ground and out of the sheriff's portmantle he told three hundred pound then robin he brought him through the wood and set him on his dapple gray oh have me commanded to your wife at home so robin went laughing away end of poem this recording is in the public domain end of a collection of ballads by andrew lang